Hey my friends, Jennifer Patterson, the Gamer Mom Marketer here, and today, as I promised, I'm going to show you how to add a nifty YouTube tab to your fan page. Um, you can also do, let me open this up, if you'd like, um, Twitter and RSS if you have a blog, and a couple other nifty applications. So let's get started. I found through a uh, friend of mine, Stella Scott, she uses this and I found it on her page so I uh, wanted to share it with you guys too. This site is called Probist, P-R-O-B-I-S-T dot com and they have, well they say they're, they make you kings of social media marketing and so if you click here on this applications you'll see that they have um, YouTube, RSS Reader, Twitter, and static HTML for your timeline. Uh, what static HTML does is you can make yourself a welcome page that has um, one thing for your uh, non-fans or people who haven't liked your page to see and then something new that they see after they click like. So. Um, I've seen some better tools for that per se, but from what I can see, Probist has the absolute best looking uh, YouTube and Twitter and RSS pages that I have seen. So if you want to do it, you're going to click the Install Now button, and then it's going to have you select your Facebook page. So if you're not logged into Facebook, it will tell you to log in. and you see I have all these pages it will let me uh, attach to and then after you do that it won't let me do it unless I click one so we'll do this one here um, come on and you click continue sorry I remember now and then for it goes to settings and you put in your YouTube channel name or username if you don't know what that is you can find it with YouTube. So if you go over here to YouTube, you should, if you are logged in, you, you should be able to click on my channel. And now this is displaying my name here because I have my Google Plus attached to my YouTube, so it's going with my Google Plus profile name. So that's technically not my username or my channel name, but if you've selected to continue using your channel name or username, it would be right here. Um, but you see this button right here, channel settings. If you click into channel settings, you'll see what your uh, username is. So on channel settings, under info so you see it's pulling Jennifer Patterson from my Google profile but my channel URL right here that's my username purple penguin gen 80 so if you don't if you need to find your username that's where you would find it so you would just copy that in and paste it right here and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna sync your uploaded videos so that your page only displays your videos unless you want to sync in the ones that you choose as your favorites because you want to share those with people um, but if you sync favorites that's other people's videos that you've added to your favorites list if you want you can add a banner to that tab so you can upload a picture to be used as a banner which I have not done yet and I might play around with later and then once you do you're gonna click update and wrong way here we are so I'm gonna go over to my YouTube tab just to show you what this looks like so as you can see oh there it is there's my um, channel name and there's a subscribe button it tells you it's the uploads this is the Facebook like button that just disappeared um, that's how many Facebook fans I have for this page so they it's another way that they can like you 
uh, somebody can also send this page to their friends. What you'll see right here in this big box is your most recent uploaded video. So the last video I uploaded happened to be this recommendation for my friend Stella, who, as you can see right there, also has this YouTube um, tab. Um, it allows you to do Facebook commenting underneath. And just so you guys know, if you ever click this little change thing, you can choose any of the pages you've created and comment as your page little side bit which I might do a different video on and then you have the more videos which is all of your others and they can click watch to watch it or they can click the like button to like it so you have a chance of your YouTube videos going viral and it's a really nice layout um, I really like the way they uh, did this and I'll give you a quick peek you can go through the same process to make a Twitter one if you want and I haven't finished making my blog yet, but I'm going to add on that RSS at some point with my blog feed. But So on the Twitter page, it's got what your Twitter name is, the follow button, and then all your tweets are right here. So if somebody wants to see your tweets on, without having to also go over to your Twitter page, they can see your tweets, which is also pretty cool. So I'll just show you how that works as well. So from the applications, you just do Twitter install now. You again would pick your page. And then on this setting side, instead of your YouTube username, you're just going to put in your Twitter username. Again, you can do a banner if you want. And then update. Um, and once you actually sync this, which I'll go ahead and do this. You'll get this, your tab is updated successfully, so that's how you know that it uh, happened. And so if you choose to do an, a banner, which I believe it's going to be a picture at the very top, which I will find out and maybe make another video to confirm, um, it's telling you that 810 by 300, that's the pixel size. So when you're making your um, image or if you hire somebody to make it for you, that is the size they need to know, 810 by 300, which the 810 is the width, 300 is the height. Alright, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Check out probus.com and uh, try out their applications. I mean, why not? It's free. It's awesome. They look great. And I think giving them that uh, tiny bit of recognition, all, all, all they do is put, you know, powered by Probist, which is awesome since they give it to you for free. You want people to know about them and you get a really great looking tab for your fan page. Alright, I will catch you next time, and that is all for now. Bye bye